we're live straight away, Chad. I haven't I haven't even put away I haven't even put away my stuff yet. So we're not we're not done with the podcast yet. My headphone hair is a mess. We're just we're just running with it. <clears throat> we're just running with it. All right. We'll reintroduce here in a second. Wandering Bull with the giveaway. All right, let's do it. This will be the least amount of people entered in a giveaway ever. Let's do it. I'm not even done with the podcast yet. But Wandering Bull is here. Let's do a giveaway. I don't even have my cam desk camera set up yet. So you're going to be surprised what you get here. All right, this giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle. There's not going to be many in here. Wandering Bull taking advantage of my hot start this morning. What is that title? We'll just leave this up. Black, not Code Tallulah. For the giveaway. Thank you, Wandering Bull, for the redemption. This literally happened as we were hanging up the podcast. All right. Y'all do that. I'm going to write the intro. The reason why we're doing a quick launch today, because I have a hard stop. Um, I have a hard stop today, so we need to go about 30 minutes, and then I'm out. They were hovering on that button. I know they were listening in the live chat. Someone in the live chat's a plant, I guess. They were letting them know. Needle girl, 39 months of subbing. Let's go. How good are your contacts at Mitsubishi? Mike and I were joking after the show. I have less chance of talking to anyone at Mitsubishi than I've ever had at Lamy. So it's th things have gotten harder for me now. Hire me Mitsubishi, except they literally will never. <laughs> like I have way less chance of ever talking to them. Okay, literally right after the podcast, someone came into the chat when we're in the post show and sent us the link. Oh, thank you, Toga, for the link. <clears throat> what a time to be Lamy. <laughs> and they're, they're like... All these people are worrying about, uh, whoops, trying to get my camera up. All these people are worrying about Lamy Dark Lilac and we're trying to sell to the biggest stationary company in the world. Allegedly, one of the, pretty funny. Zero minute giveaway. Yeah, so I went live from launch and as soon as I went live, Wandering Bull went in, went in on the giveaway. So, fewest entrance ever in any giveaway ever so it was uh it was a plan wandering bull had a plan yeah it was uh we'll, we'll do one more giveaway before i go today but it's gonna be a short stream uh let's pick this giveaway winner mobius red you win 
Here, I finally got the camera up. Not that one. You win. The not go Tallulah. Dot Mackey, you're still in the zero wins club? Dang. So, yeah, really cool Tallulah here. Is this going to be Mitsubishi's first fountain pens? You know, we've talked about that years ago. Why doesn't Uni ever have a um, fountain pen? Uh, so, yeah. This is why you have to have a raffle every time you pop in the stream is started. Well, I usually have a three-minute buffer, but I didn't have time for that today. I was still going. The news was hot. I figured we'd just jump in here. Blog Walda, 20 months of subbing. Get composted, 47 months of subbing. Dubs, five months of subbing. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you so much. Sorry for the quick uh, the quick hits today. We uh, apparently have a lot to talk about. But let me get this done. Y'all can continue to see that this is not a joke. Um, yeah. Michelle, 27 months. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I am. Uh... So this came in right after the podcast, which is good, I guess, because I'll now have a, like a week to decipher what's going on here. All right, Moby, this is Mobius Red, right? Mobius, email me your shipping address to hello at pinatic.com. Tell me you won the not code Tallulah. Tell me your Twitch handle, if you don't mind. Thank you. Drive through. Breaking news. Breaking news. Beep, 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 beep. No, there's no one. No one has a breaking news sound anymore. Do any of you youths even know what the breaking news sounds were? Are you going to contact your uni contact so you can get hired as lead product designer for Lamy? Actually, I guess I technically do have an in to Mitsubishi. Now that you say that, maybe there is a better chance of me contacting uh, contacting them. Where's an emergency podcast when you need one? I mean, literally, we wrapped the show and then someone came in the chat with the link and we were already done. Lamy, Lamy Dive. That'll be their first product, the Lamy Dive. So I will email Uni at some time in the next week. Probably not today. Um, I wonder if I could get them on the podcast. That's one of those things where, like, I could ask someone to be on the podcast, but the information they'd provide would be so limited, right? Because that's how large companies operate. Like, it wouldn't be worth it. Like, that's why Sailor uh, North America wouldn't answer, like, didn't want to talk to me. Because I have very specific questions. And they're like, yeah, we're not going to answer that. I'm like, okay. I mean, that's cool. Like, I mean, that's their prerogative. I didn't have a problem with it. But it's like, I can have these people on, but I'm not going to get anything. And what's what's it worth, um, like, just banging your head against the wall if you're not going to get, like, any real answers? So, is dropping the news right after the pod the same thing as company news dropping Friday after the market close? Yes. <laughs> that's exactly right. Muppet Show newscast had an excellent breaking sound. I wonder if that's the sound I hear in my head. I remember when breaking news was actually breaking news. That's a whole different conversation. This one's actually breaking news. Uh, okay. Um... I don't know where to take this. This is a big acquisition from a stationary fan perspective. This, like uh, someone said, this will be Mitsubishi's kind of first fountain pen thing. Um, one of the last things I said to Mike... was I've noticed Lamy's inroads into the Asian market over the past five years. That doesn't necessarily mean anything in relation to this, but it has been a noticeable shift in Lamy's market direction. Sydney, thank you, Mobius. That will probably, that might ship today, so we'll see.
Um, I kind of like it. These are two of my favorite companies anyway, right? As far as I'm concerned, like, I don't want to say unassailable, but Mitsubishi and Lamy make some of my favorite products of all time. Oh, there you go. I see. I haven't even had time to read that. Read that, uh, DW. Um, focus on the internationalization and expansion of digital writing. That's scary. So Mitsubishi wants a digital writing. Wants Lamy's digital writing tool. Do they even know how washi tape works? Like, this is just Lamy's way of saying "f dark lilac." I actually kind of alluded to that too. <laughs> Yeah, Mitsubishi, so think of Mitsubishi, if you think of Mitsubishi, just think Uniball is the easiest way to, is the easiest way to say it. Just think Uniball, even though it's more than that. Like they're a big paper company, right? But if you think about it in our space, if you just think Uniball, that Mitsubishi is Uni's parent company. So Evan makes a good point. Mergers between large players make me nervous because I think competition breeds excellence, but I don't have a specific fears with this combination. They feel complementary to me, not like there's too much overlap. That's exactly right. So like in the U.S., there's two big grocery store chains that they're battling, like whether they should have, be able to merge or not. It's like that's like a pointless, like that's like a bottom line NBA merger. Like it's only like caring about dollars and cents and like there's no additive to the customer because the products are so similar um that's like a business gonna business type of thing this is like probably additive to both companies um <laughs> this is this is very interesting Yeah, like how Staples and Office Depot tried to merge. It's like, like that's MBAs and accountants making decisions, right? Not, not like the business making decisions. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm used to mergers where we select the worst practices from each company. Maybe that's just the ones I've been in. Also not wrong. <sighs> Lamy balloon might be, be at risk here. What I want to know is money. So maybe we'll get something out of that. Um, I'm assuming Mitsubishi is a publicly traded company in Japan. I'll have to talk to uh, Jacob about that. Um, yeah, the digital component thing just interests me. I wonder how prevalent... This sounds like it's time for a Jacob interview because now I have questions like... How big is the digital writing market in Japan right now? Right? That's a question I have. Um, what do Mitsubishi's finances look like? Incoming Jacob email, I feel. Get him back on the show. They want a Lamy's, Lamy's electronic pen, not knowing how easy it is to break with, with Washi. We need to send, we need to clip that video and send that to Mitsubishi. Is the Mitsubishi pencil company full spun off from the rest of Mitsubishi or could there be other crazy synergy opportunities like down the line here? Right, yeah. It's just like how many people knew Sailor was a robotics company, right? And which is one of the main reasons why Plus bought them. A Jodo Twitch. Dang, just think we were probably going to unbox some Ajoto stuff today. We might have to wait till tomorrow because I'm out of time. A Jodo Twitch, tune in tomorrow. We're not going to have time today. Oof, sorry, Toby. Um, Mitsubishi Pencil isn't the motor company. Uh, they are not, I believe. I don't think they're related. Yeah. Oh, Alan, Mitsubishi Pencil, Pencil and Mitsubishi Auto are not connected. 
Sailor makes robots. Hold on, I need to make a chart. <laughs> I don't know that they make robots. They're in the robotics space. You know, it might be good news overall. I extremely positive vibes for me because you know how much I love these two brands, right? And Evan's points is very valid in that there's little to no overlap between these two companies, right? Little to no overlap. This digital writing thing in the press release has me tripping though. All shares in the company also. Oh, there's a line here about the business, which we'll find more about. The annual, this is funny that they put it in here. The annual turnover of Mitsubishi Pencil is several times that of the company Lamy. That's like, sit down, Lamy. I'm just going to cut a check. <laughs> it's like, recognize. <laughs> I didn't think Mitsubishi Pencil was enough to buy Lamy. Mitsubishi is pretty dang huge. That's like, we're just going to write a check. <laughs> end of Lamy as we know it uh no I don't I don't I don't see any negative I give me your negatives this is what I want to hear what are your negatives what's what's the downside here focus on digital writing if they make if they if they somehow usurp Lamy's existing product lineup to focus on digital Okay. Negatives, it'll say the same. I mean, I think that's a positive after a merger. <laughs> the outcome of this is going to be the Unilami pricing LDL at 300 themselves to combat scalpers. We actually referred to that in the uh, in the podcast today. <laughs> yeah, the Lam I the the Lami dive definitely. Mafia Geek, that's what I think. Lamy's pretty big in Japan and Asia, so I think Mitsubishi will keep things going on that regard, right? <laughs> they will more than likely move all the digital out of Lamy and then leave the rest to Lamy as is. So Mitsubishi digital writing department starting with Lamy assets kind of thing, right? I'm concerned that there'll be a lot more cool Lamy's that I want to buy. Lamy gets its assets sold off. The company got in one of the more manufacturers goes out of business. I mean, sure, like that's a doomsday scenario, but I don't believe that's the case here. So I don't think like what's a realistic downside. I I like I get some businesses like mergers and acquisitions do that or or in place for that. I don't feel that this is the case with this. <laughs> Mitsubishi takes over manufacturing and makes out of cheap junk materials. I think Mitsubishi already has good materials. So I don't think that's a that's not something that would scare me. Yeah, not an early April Fool's joke. I, I can't imagine so because I believe Mitsubishi is a publicly traded company, so they could not do things like this without serious repercussions. <laughs> Pikachu, Lamy, Safari next year. I mean, they've already had them. Especially with Lamy's inroads into the Asian market. Like I said, over the past five years, you just see so many like Asian market exclusives. This is going to be an interesting week. I would trust Mitsubishi's materials more than Lamy's current materials. Yeah, like I did not have a problem with that and yeah i think it would be the other way around contact your uni pal i will what i was saying earlier is like could i get someone from uni on the podcast and i think i could i just don't know that it again would be when you're dealing with publicly traded corporations they're limited by how much they can say so i tend not to even bother asking because i'm not going to get the answers that i want <laughs> This feels like the most trustworthy merger, which is a weird thing to think about. Isn't that weird, Megalunity? Because I feel the same way. Replace all creative Lamy employees and <laughs> replace with even more boring designs. 
Here's how I'm looking at it. Mitsubishi is the premium brand of office supplies and Lamy is one of the premium design brands for stationery. This is interesting. This is so interesting. Maybe they'll help Lamy not to have huge seam marks on the gloss safaris. Boy, that is gonna that's gonna be a headliner of my review. This one was egregious. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you take on more debt, um, like that's a normal, like that's the normal reaction, right? <laughs> is it weird? Oh, maybe it's just the platform that this is on. I was going to say this is a little Pink Cliff logo. <sighs> Interesting. Okay. I am flummoxed. Like, of all the brands I could have put together, would I have ever put Mitsubishi and Lamy? So strange. Who else should merge? Pilot Pelican? Like, you would think one of the premier... Like, that would be more than... Like, whoever bought Pelican. Like, a Pilot Pelican merger would actually... Logically make sense, I guess. But I guess that ship sailed. Yeah, Pelican's already... Pelican's off the market. I... I'm just... DW, I'm just trying to think about this. <sighs> number one, logically. Number two, as a stationary fan. Number three, as a super fan of both of these brands. I'm. There's a lot to think about. Pilots fly, pelicans fly, boom, merger. Like, like, pi <coughs> like pineapple pen. Like. Pineapple pen all day long. Huh. All right, my daughter's home. All right, I got about 10 minutes. Let me see if she wants to come do another giveaway item, and then we got to go. <sighs> Mommy Bishi. I kind of like that. <sighs> yeah, so I am a little bit gobsmacked, but kind of excited. Like, this is... I, what I'm, why I keep rolling my eyes, like that, that this is my thinking face. <laughs> this is my thinking face when I'm looking up. I, I, I just don't know where the downside is. Could be good. Could be good. Should be good. I, this is what's probably gonna happen is again, the easiest thing that can happen is literally Lamy has a new owner and nothing changes. I would probably be more interested in uh, Lamy buying someone else than someone else buying Lamy. All right, do you wanna pick out a giveaway item and then we'll get going? All right, we got Elizabeth, we got Toby. And I think they're going to tag team to pick out a giveaway item. What do you think? Worst case, they stop making fountain pens. You need me to open them? Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Toby said no, not that one. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth is growing up. Oof, too fast. Too fast. <laughs> I know, she's home, buddy. All right, so we're going to do this giveaway, and then I'm going to have to go. How many? One thing? Uh, it depends on what you pick. Like, if you pick, like, one of those things, that would just be one thing. Now it's not over here. Or you could pick... Oh, what do you have? What do you have? I'll tell you if there should be more. All right, so we got a notebook yet. Yeah, so do... So we got a notebook... 
Um, see if we can find a pen or something to go with the notebook. Pen or pencil to go with the notebook. These are really pretty notebooks. Oh yeah, that's a whole set. That would actually go good with this. All right, we're good. All right, here's what we have, chat. We have the Crane & Co. notebooks. They sent me these a couple years ago. They were really, really nice. Um, they do a really good job. I don't know that they're fountain pen friendly, but that's good because Elizabeth has picked out a good matching item, and that's the Emote. These are color mechanical pencils, right? So these are all mechanical pencils with different color lead, so purple. So these will actually go good with this. So you have purple, orange, lime green, and pink color LEDs, and they have refillable LEDs. So this is a little each of, Emote makes markers as well. Um, this is also Uni Mitsubishi, right? So you have your different uh, LEDs you can refill them with, and they also have like eight other colors maybe with these. So yeah, these, I reviewed this exact set and they were better than I thought they were going to be, right? Color pencil LEDs can sometimes, when they're in this format, in like the mechanical pencil format, they're sometimes too light, too faint. These are really, really good. These are really good. Almost F1 weekend. We're ready. All right, so let's do this. All right, good pick. Are you ready to go otherwise? <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish this. I need you to take him out, and then we'll get going. Can we take my car? No. Because i got to get gas in Mom's car. That's why she took my car. Hi, welcome to family. Um. Okay, Crane X Mini. All right, giveaway's open. Exclamation point raffle. LJD, appreciate the follow. Glad you're here. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah. Um, crazy day. I don't know what to think. I'll have a lot more thoughts, obviously, next week on the podcast. We can talk about it more tomorrow. If something new comes out today, I have a really busy day today. So, I don't know how much research time I'm going to get. Um, a lot of shipping today. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just a busy day for me. So yeah, I don't know how much, how many brain cells I'll kill thinking about this, um, this merger today to talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow though, we are going to look at the new Ajoto gear that I got. I have a surprise package in here as well. Um, that will be interesting to open. And yeah, and then we can talk about some more about the, uh, about the, um, acquisition. Wow. Things I did not think I would be doing today. Interesting. I like it. Need to read the merger document? Yeah, I need to read that a little bit more and kind of think about it. Raise my glass of Dutch IPA to the bratty bunch. That sounds good. I actually, I'm going to need a beer at lunch, apparently, after this announcement. <laughs> Thank you, Tess. I feel like I missed something. Uh, Mitsubishi bought Lamy. If you weren't here, um... So I'm a little bit distracted. My brain is a little bit working overtime. So that announcement just came in um, like in the past half hour or so. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Toby came hauling back in here. <clears throat> oh, Annie P, 24 months of subbing. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Whew. You are too cute. Y'all are too cute. 
Borrowed a Sailor 1911L with a Kirk Architect. So dreamy to write with. That sounds like a great combination. For those of you who came in late, Mitsubishi Pencil bought Lamy. Not April Fool's. So we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Um, yeah. <laughs> there aren't any words. Aren't any words. This is the first Twitch where Brad needs a Chiron. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I've had a good 30, 45 minutes to think about this, and I still am flummoxed. I, I'm very positive. I think. <laughs> very positive. Someone in Slack bought up Schaefer, Parker, and Waterman's Fates after acquisition. Schaefer... Parker and Waterman were bought by a conglomerate. Uh, even though Mitsubishi has their hands in other things, they are, have a stationary focus where Newell Rubbermaid did not have the same type of focus for those brands. So I don't think that's really a um, relevant comparison. <clears throat> All right, let's pick a winner. Wandering Bull. Wandering Bull. You're late, no alert. Well, we're about to hang up here because I only have a short amount of time today. Wandering Bull did the first uh, did the first giveaway. Wandering Bull gets thanked in the second giveaway. Nice. Wandering Bull, email me. Hello at pinnack.com. Your shipping address. And I will get this out to you probably today. Join us tomorrow when Bic will buy Visconti. You joke. <laughs> I guarantee you Bit could afford Visconti. Right? I think that's like no cap. I believe. Visconti. Oh my god. We need to make Visconti happen. Spore! 13 months of sub and thank you so much, Spore. Appreciate you. Yeah. Bic could afford to buy Visconti. I almost guarantee it. Almost guarantee it. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Join us tomorrow when PA buys Retro 51. That's funny. All right, tell them bye, Elizabeth. Bye, Elizabeth. <laughs> She's listening to the podcast, clearly. All right, we're going to go. Uh, we got a lunch birthday date to go happen, and then I got to go to work. Do you got to go to work today? No. Tomorrow tomorrow today's wednesday all right um yeah i'm gonna go think about what's happening in the state world of stationery i think it's a good thing all right i'll see y'all tomorrow y'all be good talk to you later bye